Hey guys, and today I'll be answering um, a few questions that we've asked a few of our friends and family members about me. And I'm a little nervous because I don't know how embarrassing these questions are. I don't know how much I'll have to tell to you guys, but the internet wants to know. So I'll tell the internet. First question. Question. Is Duke okay? Yes, I am okay. Um, now you know. I'm okay. Um, next question is, has Duke adjusted to seeing with one eye? Uh, yes. Um, a lot of questions about my eye, making me miss my eye. I can only cry with one eye, though. <laughs> and I'm not going to on set. Um, but, um, I have adjusted to seeing with one eye. I've had several doctor's appointments. No one could quite fix the problem of, like, repurposing my eye or just, like, replacing my eye with something that'll help me see. Um, basically, I had an eye patch for a while. For some reason, I needed glasses because, um, losing my, like, losing my left eye made my right eye, um, uh, I guess, like, just it like affected my right eye into not seeing right or not seeing the way it's supposed to so I needed glasses but the other hook just kind of did nothing because there's no eye there <laughs> how did Duke lose his eye well interesting question because I lost my eye in like a fight or something. I was running away and um, I was like on tile. And so when you when you like when you fall and trip on tile, number one it hurts. Number two it pops the beaver's eye out of the socket. So that's how I lost my eye. Has Duke had any girlfriends lately? Um, yes, uh, Lily, right? Lily and, um, yeah, Lily. Has Duke ever thought about wearing an eye patch? Yes, um, but they're badly uncomfortable, especially when you have no eye. So, like, there are, like, a bunch of people who pretend for Halloween they have to wear an eye patch, but I have already had to wear an eye patch once. You can see in my in one of my shorts with like twinsies, blah blah blah, two elephants. They fall down, they trip, and then they need eye patches because they lost their eye. So um, yeah, I have thought about it, but it is badly uncomfortable. What? are Duke's hobbies. Um, one of my hobbies is playing video games. Other hobbies are basically, uh, there is an episode in Toys and Racket that is coming soon to Toys and Racket, but I'll tell you a little teensy tiny sneak peek if you want to hear it. in a band, and it's my band, and in the episode I, um, well, I can't tell you much about the episode, except that I started band, and so that means uh, one of my hobbies is singing. Next question. Is Duke sleepy? Uh, kinda. Yeah, today is kinda one of those lay around days for me. What is it like to, um, live with Mary and Gerald? Uh, stressful. What did Duke like most about nacho cheese? Uh, this is one of the questions I, um, I feel like I would have gotten because, um, yeah, if you haven't seen it, um, yeah, you should probably go watch it after this, though. You have to watch the interview first and then go watch, watch it. Um, if you haven't seen it already, um, 
episode one of Toys and Racket is the nacho um, family dinner thing. And in that episode, I won't tell you much, but what I have to tell you is that I try nacho cheese for the first time. What did you like most about trying nacho cheese? Nacho cheese is amazing. The cheese, it, it, it's just a full combination. It just comes together to be like one of the best, best little things to eat with your chips. So... I hope you enjoy that episode, and I hope you enjoy this interview, too. Last question, finally. Um, there, there's been a lot of questions, but I... Um, so, the last question is, does Duke like tacos? Um... for like a whole entire minute there um yeah sorry um yes i do like tacos and that is the end of this interview i hope you enjoyed and make sure to check out um more toys and racket episodes coming soon and make sure you drop a like and subscribe to toys and racket um so you can like this video like this video if you want to see more interviews all right and yeah let's uh yeah and that's the end of the interview with Duke